Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Talk Streaming. I'm your host, Jeremiah, and yes, it's it's been a little bit, but there's some big news. There is some big news. Uh, as expected, actually, probably a few years ago, we finally know that Hulu and Disney Plus will be merging later this year. By the end of the year, Disney is required to buy out uh, Comcast Universal's uh, shares, which they have, I believe, a 34% share of Hulu. Um, last price I saw was like $9 billion is what they owe. If they had paid them originally, it would have been five. Um, but they are going to be merging content, similar to how Star is, but at the same time, not. So, the way Star works overseas, Star is a section of Disney+. Plus. Uh, it's like one of the tabs, like there's Marvel, Star Wars, and so on. And that's where they have a lot of the Disney-owned Fox stuff. Um, Whatever that's on there. You'll think Alien. Hulu, if you're overseas and don't know how Hulu works, Hulu for uh, quite a while has been a service that combined used to be Fox, Universal, and Disney. And they'd have all their TV shows together. So I could watch Law and Order on Hulu. I can watch, um, I can't think of ABC shows. Uh, you know, Big Bang Theory. I could watch um, yeah, th all those shows. Hulu now, uh, though it has a little less content, has a lot of Universal's content, a lot of Disney content, a lot of Fox content, a lot of anime, a lot of Pokemon. Um, it has a lot of stuff. It's probably my most used one at all. And I'm, I'm glad that Disney this past year let us bundle Hulu and Disney Plus and not have ESPN. Um, but here's how it's going to work according to Disney. So, um, so during earnings call, which was last Wednesday, uh, he said, Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus will remain standalone streaming services per Iger, but Disney Hulu app will provide another choice for subscribers. He compared it to Disney Plus Hotstar, streaming service available outside the US that merges programming from several platforms, for so in India. Uh, for customers who already have Disney bundled, the experience will eliminate the need to switch between apps. Um, in December, Disney Plus launched its ad based tier, of course, $8 a month, um, which now is available on Roku. It wasn't for quite a while, um, which means this is good. So alongside the new price structure for the standalone subscriptions, the company also introduced two new bundles that include access to Hulu and ESPN Plus. Disney basic one is Hulu and Disney Plus, which is nine, which is ten dollars. Um, both have ads, and then there's the trio, which is thirteen. So they don't know if the if it's gonna how the pricing work. Both of the Hulu bundle, the ten dollar one, has ads for both sides. Um, but it looks like this is gonna basically be what, as it says, Paramount Plus and HBO Max is done. Paramount Plus added Showtime. And HBO Max will be adding uh, Discovery. And um, we'll see how it goes. But but there are some things that we need to talk about. Ad-free tier for Disney Plus is going up. Um, we, we It's just kind of expected by now. Um, the price is going to be going up from what it is. Uh, it bumped up to $11. So expect it to go up a little bit more. Um, but they also said they're going to be removing some content from Disney Plus. Now, the reason why is for this because the longer the content's on there, it means they have to basically pay the creatives for it, um, residuals and so on. And despite them being a, uh, there being a strike right now about residuals, they do pay residuals. And so, if everything is on there, they're paying literally for everything. Um, so that's why they remove things from time to time. Uh, it makes it so they can have other people buy it. Other people have it on their platforms and they don't have to pay for everything at all times. They don't say how much they're going to be removing, but they did say they need to make a cost and they did specifically say they're going to be removing content from their streaming platforms. Um, they have to save some money. Exactly what they're going to be cutting. I'm not sure. I imagine things that were made directly for Disney Plus is probably not going to be removed unless they're going to start selling it. Like, for example, I could see stuff like um, Hawkeye or Ms. Marvel being removed if they're going to start selling it on Blu-ray and so on. Uh, the Netflix stuff, if they want to start selling it, you know, Hawk Daredevil and so on. But they're going to find a way to get money from it one way or another. But that's the news. Hulu is going to be merged with Disney Plus in a form. You can still get it separately if you want. They're going to be removing some content. There will be a price increase. We'll cover that when it comes. But at least now we have some news on Hulu, and it looks like they're definitely not selling it. The news earlier was that they could be selling it at Comcast. Uh, looks like they're going to keep it, and we'll see what they're going to do with it. But this is definitely just a state side thing because Hulu is only U.S. based, and clearly they're not going to be doing anything outside of the U.S. with it in the, in the future at all. Um, but 
That's Let's Talk Streaming. Leave a post and comment.